So one of the fragrances that I've been obsessing over a lot lately is a fragrance from a new niche fragrance house called Acro. And the fragrance I'm obsessing over a lot lately is called Smoke. This one right here. I'm going to tell you everything about this fragrance that I'm obsessed over. Plus, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Acro, the house. So if you're curious to discover Smoke and Acro, please stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances like Smoke, discovering new brands like Acro, and participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So. I had heard about Acro late last year when it was first launched, but uh, I discovered the fragrances earlier, well actually on my trip to Italy and France and I was in Paris at the Javoy Boutique, I discovered the fragrances. And the two fragrances that I fell in love with from this house are called um, Dark and also Awake. So. This is smoke, obviously, and this is a later acquisition. So the fragrance house, Acro, is uh, fronted by Olivier Cresp, the perfumer. His daughter and his daughter's partner are who are involved in the brand, Acro. And so um, Olivier Cresp has been a perfumer for quite some time. He created the original Angel for Women from Mugler. He's also created DNG a Light Blue for Women and many, many other fragrances. Uh, of course, I recently discussed with you uh, the fragrance um, Bracken Man from Amouage, who I also mentioned in that video that uh, Olivier Crespa created that fragrance along with another perfumer. So, the Acro, the house was born uh, last year and uh, the fragrances, there are six fragrances in the house and they're all inspired by addictions. So we've got smoke and this is obviously smoking cigarettes, tobacco, that's the addiction. But then you also have uh, Awake, which is uh, inspired, or actually it's the addiction is coffee. Then you have Dark, the addiction is chocolate. Haze, which is a little confusing for me. I, I wasn't sure if it was marijuana or absinthe because they mentioned both uh, in the description. So it's an addiction to either, uh, mar I think it's marijuana personally, but I think they're using absinthe or similar kind of notes in the notes to make it smell like marijuana. Then you also have malt for whiskey. You have night for sex. And of course, uh, smoke is the cigarette one. So those are all fragrances inspired by um, addictions. And then the fragrances are all available at Lucky Scent currently, and they're $160 for a 100 ml bottle. And as you can see, smoke is the one I've been obsessing over, and I just recently picked it up on my trip to LA from Lucky Scent. So look how much I've used. I've using a lot this one but uh, let me show you the other two which actually featured in my haul video my last haul video from Europe but acro fragrances come in this tin kind of box like this and on the back you have the name and information it's very simplistic and minimalistic which I really really love you don't need all that extra stuff on there and then the fragrance basically sits in here in its little coffin uh, kind of a cushion and of course this one is uh, dark and dark, as I said, is all about chocolate. Really, really great chocolate uh, fragrance. And then, um, let's see, where's the other one? I got the wrong fragrance in the wrong container of all things. But this, this one is Awake right here. And that's all about coffee. And again, wonderful coffee fragrance. I love this one. These are both amazing. Coffee and um, dark. Awake and Dark are two beautiful gourmands, just the way I like them. Really, really awesome. But I wanted to do a video about those two fragrances and on my LA trip I discovered Smoke because when I sampled the entire collection at Javoy uh, late April, early May, I went back a couple times, Smoke didn't jump out at me. But in LA with the humid weather, even though it wasn't too hot the first couple of days I was there, this wore on me so amazingly. It bloomed so amazingly that I kept wanting to spray it. I went back a couple of times to spray it, then of course I got the bottle and I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It's that good of a fragrance. So what are the notes here? In smoke you have the notes of Balkans tobacco leaves, nicotine, cade, ben benzoin or benjoin, and then tonka beans. Not a lot going on with notes, but I'll tell you why this one's so exciting to me. First of all, it's, it's a 
tobacco smoke fragrance that you can wear in warm weather because this bloomed so beautifully on me when I when I sprayed it on me in um, LA the LA weather oh my god it's amazing even when I was traveling in Italy back in September last September all fragrances were blooming and coming alive on me whereas in San Francisco where I live it's a little cooler and uh, the warmth there's not a lot of warmth there is humidity but if it warms up a little fragrances do come alive more but in LA it was just blooming like there's no tomorrow and this one just opened up and the, the smoke kind of cleared up even though it's a smoky fragrance and the smokiness of this fragrance is pretty much the entire lifetime of the fragrance the sweet notes in here from the benzoin just came alive just became so gorgeous now the fragrance sprays ultra smoky like it's, it's just a smoke bomb like it's really really smoke hazy smoky and then tobacco kind of kicks in and, and just becomes a uh like you can smell the tobacco and then it kind of starts reminding me of other tobacco fragrances but this one actually that uh, benzoin or benjuan note is what really uh, is the magician of this fragrance because without that note in this fragrance I think this fragrance just wouldn't wow me like it's wowed me and you know now I'm obsessed with it it's the benzoin mixed with the smoky tobacco leaves and the nicotine that just really performs magic and just makes this fragrance just come alive on me and the warmer it is on me and the more warmer my body is or the more humid outside it is you can experience it coming alive and becoming sweeter and then it starts reminding me of tobacco vanille and I'm not saying it's identical but uh, there's something about it in here under here that just becomes like a little more like tobacco vanille and it reminds me of a tobacco a fragrance with van a vanilla kind of touches and of course benzoin already has vanillic undertones and that's why I love this resin uh, in fragrances I just absolutely love it it's like um, it's smoky, but it's also vanillic. So uh, it's very, very unique note. Uh, if you want to do some um, interesting uh, discoveries of uh, fragrances, check out some fragrances that feature this note in fr uh, fragrances like Guerlain's Bois de Harmony and, of course, Benjoin Bohème uh, from um, Diptyque. Amazing fragrance, absolutely amazing. The, the benzoin or benjuan in that fragrance kind of reminds me of the benzoin in here. I don't know who did that fragrance. Could even be uh, Olivia Crest, but I don't think so. Um, but that benzoin in that fragrance reminds me of uh, some of the benzoin uh, touches, vanillic touches in here. And then, of, of course, there's uh, there's lots of other fragrances. I do also own um, benzoin or benjuan 19 from Le Labo, uh, whereas that one kind of sort of. Even the Bois de Harmony from Guerlain kind of reminds me of this, but I think if I wanted to kind of uh, find a similar kind of benzoin that's in here that I'm uh, reminded of, it would be the Benjoin Bohème from Diptyque. It's amazing. So if you like the idea of a sweet vanillic resin with some smoky touches, uh, definitely check out fragrances featuring this note. And this uh, note in here is just doing wonders. Now there's also this like slow soapiness in here as well, which I really like, and that's coming from the Cade. And Cade is... Um, Juniper, juniper berries. So juniper berries uh, adds an aromatic twist to the fragrance. So you've got that smoke, you've got the tobacco, nicotine, all that smokiness is there. The uh, benzoin is giving it the bright vanillic sweet uh, experience. And then this clean uh, soapy aromatic touch comes in from that Kate oil and you've got a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. It's just amazing. And in, in fact, uh, comments do come in like recently, uh, just before I shot this video, I was wearing it just so you can learn a little bit more about this fragrance. And I went to a farmer's market. I was going through some of the uh, white peaches there. And this woman asked me, are you wearing cologne? I said, yes, I'm wearing perfume. And she goes, what is it? I said, it's called smoke. And I had it on me and I had her smell it. She goes, wow, that's great. Where can I get something like that? She said, and I said, uh, go to Lucky Scent. Because currently these fragrances are sold at Lucky Scent. I don't think there's any other retailers. Of course, you can go to their website and check out their fragrances as well. But 
I, I'm, I'm really, really obsessed with this, this fragrance. And of course, the, the two others that I have, um, I really love them. And I think the other three that I, I checked, I loved Night. Uh, it had cumin in it, which I really liked. And of course, I also liked Haze. Haze has uh, absinthe or uh, uh, anise-like notes in there. Of course, it also is green and uh, herbal for the marijuana experience. And I really like that one as well. I think the only one that really didn't wow me was the malt, uh, the, the whiskey experience. I felt like it was very, very smoky for whiskey, and it kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, another fragrance, Boisicar from Atelier des Ors or Des Ors. But I'm obsessed with this line, and this is just really great, and this one just amazing. Like it, it is absolutely an amazing fragrance. Those of you that love tobacco fragrances, those of you that love sweeter tobacco fragrances, you must check this one out. And this is a tobacco with the actual smoke. So you got the ash, it's very ashy, you smell that smoke. Just think of the ashtray as cigarette smoke all crushed, or the cigarette, or like at the end, very end of uh, the cigarette butt, where you can leave traces of like flakes of the smoke uh, pieces, and you smell that and add in that sweet vanillic undertone of the benzoin is exactly what you get. So I'm just recommending it as a great, great tobacco fragrance. You must check it out if you love tobacco fragrances, smoky fragrances, of course the uh, the resinous note of benzoin, and of course tobacco vanille. This reminds me a little bit of tobacco vanille, and it's actually great. And tobacco vanille is hard to wear in the summer warm humid weather this one came alive in the heat it just absolutely came alive and um again i'll say it again i'm obsessed with it it's so good so anyway that's my thoughts on smoke from acro guys are you familiar with this house this brand are you familiar with any of them have you tested them out do you own any of them let me know put some comments down uh so we can get a conversation started i have a link to lucky scent in the info box as well you can go there um and check it out of course if you're in the la area you can go to their scent bar which is uh I, I, I discovered this one at Scent Bar DTLA, the, not the main one that uh, has been there forever, but the new location, and that's where I was wearing it. And uh, you saw the video I shot. And of course, I also want to mention, I featured this in that video in the top five. This is my, my, my number one discovery there. And it's just awesome. It's an awesome release. So I hope you guys get to try this one. Uh, please do, and then uh, let me know. Please come back here and report back and let me know what you think about it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.